Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market update dated the 5th of September, 2023. The benchmark indices ended higher for the third consecutive session on September 5 with the nifty above 19,550 led by mid-small cap stocks and buying across the sectors. At close, the Sensex was up 152.12 points or 0.23% at 65,780.26, and the Nifty was up 46.10 points, or 0.24% at 19,574.90. Top gainers on the Nifty were Apollo Hospitals, Coal India, and Sun Pharma, while losers included Ultratech Cement, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, and SBI Life Insurance. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of DLF scaled a 52-week high of 525.75 rupees on September 5, after the real estate major said to have a pipeline of residential project launches worth nearly 20,000 rupees crore spread across the country scheduled for this fiscal. The DLF residential launch pipeline of close to 20,000 rupees crore is spread across Gurugram, Panchala, Chennai, and Mumbai. The launch pipeline includes a super-luxury residential project in DLF-5 in Gurugram, a high-rise luxury residential development complex coming up in the heart of Chennai, a mid- or high-rise in New Gurugram, Sector 7677 and a residential low-rise coming up in Chandigarh Tri-City. Shares of Nazara Technologies rallied 5%, to a 52-week high of 894.30 rupees on September 5th after the company said it will discuss plans to raise additional funds at the upcoming board meet. A meeting of the company's board of directors is scheduled on September 7 to consider and, if thought fit, approve raising of additional funds by issuing equity shares or securities of the company on a preferential basis, in accordance with the company's Act, 2013. Shares of the online gaming company trading 7% higher. The script has rallied 17% in the past one week. Raymond shares up 10% on September 5th after brokerages turned positive on the stock. Jefferies has a buy rating on the stock with a target price of 2,600 rupees. The foreign brokerage firm said that Raymond has addressed investor concerns on debt. Raymond is already net cash and is set to list its lifestyle and real estate businesses separately. Growth is visible across businesses which is led by category expansion and market share gains, said Jefferies. The brokerage firm expects Raymond's revenues to grow at a CAGR of 13% and earnings to grow at a CAGR of 24% over financial year 2023-26. Tata Power's share price rose nearly a percent to hit a new 52-week high of 262.50 rupees in the early trade on September 5, as the company said its renewable power arm has signed a power delivery agreement with Neosim Industry. Tata Power Renewable Energy Limited will supply power to Neosim Industry, a grey and SG iron casting manufacturing company from a 26 MW AC Group captive solar plant. The project, located at Jamt, Ahmednagar in Maharashtra with an anticipated electricity generation capacity of 59 million units annually, will start from March 2024. Shares of TCNS Clothing Trading 4% higher on September 5th a day after portfolio investor Nalanda India Equity Fund offloaded 1.4% stake in the clothing manufacturer. According to BSE Bulk Deals data, foreign portfolio investor Nalanda India Equity Fund sold 889,635 equity shares or 1.4% stake in TCNS clothing, via open market transactions at an average price of 370.03 rupees per share. As of June 2023, Nalanda India held a 6.84% stake in TCNS. In May 2023, the Aditya Birla Group announced that it had entered into an agreement to acquire a majority stake in TCNS clothing. The deal worth Rs crore included the founding promoter's stake through an SPA, share purchase agreement, and a conditional public offer. Dish TV India Limited in daily time frame is trading around 21.30 points with a change of 20%, and is trading with a net volume of around 166.797 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 19.05 which is a good indication for the stock. 
while shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 66.32. MMTC Limited in daily time frame is trading around 63 points with a change of 20%, and is trading with a net volume of around 120.363 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 47.90 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 87.17. Sri Rama Newsprint Limited in daily time frame is trading around 15.90 points with a change of 20%, and is trading with a net volume of around 4.036 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 13.65, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 81.58. Tech Mahindra looks good on current market price of 1254. It can be bought at 1256 rupees, keeping target of 1280 rupees with stop loss of 1234. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.